San Juan County in New Mexico's Four Corners area has some of the dirtiest, most polluted air in the nation. But as KSFR's Cynthia Cook reports, a decision by the U.S. Supreme Court may be about to change all that. Cleaner air and water may be in store for Farmington and San Juan County. In January, the EPA said it would hear an appeal filed by the state and various environmental groups. The appeal was filed after the EPA granted an air permit for the proposed Desert Rock power plant on the Navajo Reservation last year. And recently, the Supreme Court refused to hear an appeal filed by the Bush administration EPA that would have changed the way coal-fired power plant emissions are regulated. Mike Eisenfeld of the San Juan Citizens Alliance, one of the groups who filed the appeal, says that both actions will greatly help San Juan County fight the high levels of pollution already there and not add more pollutants than a new power plant under the old regulations would bring. In October of 2008, the EPA uh, approved the, uh, the air quality permit for, for Desert Rock, which would be a 1,500-megawatt coal-fired power plant within 15 miles of two existing coal-fired power plants. Um, a number of environmental organizations, including um, the San Juan Citizens Alliance and the uh, New Mexico Environment Department appealed. And the appeal is based on a number of legal um, decisions that have been coming out of the EPA and their Environmental Appeals Board. Eisenfeld feels that the Desert Rock power plant should not be built and the consideration should be given to mothballing the two plants operating there now. Our uh, process up here is that uh, we really don't think that Desert Rock should be brought on given the existing conditions and the public health implications. And that also the second tier is that uh, the, the two existing power plants, the San Juan Generating Station and the Four Corners Power Plant, need to be cleaned up and or decommissioned um, if new facilities are coming on board. My personal feeling is that those, those plants are 40 to 50 years old and should have been um, considered under new, new source review under the Clean Air Act and should have been decommissioned by now. Um, there's no reason that the Four Corners Power Plant should continue to be the number one emitter of nitrogen oxides in the country for a coal plant. The economic stimulus package includes funding for clean and renewable power generation. Eisenfeld says that the Farmington area has great potential for renewable energy power generation. He says that this approach will provide more jobs and revenue to the area without harming the environment and the health of the residents. We um, participated in the environmental impact statement, which was like a 1,600-page document prepared by the project proponents for Desert Rock, and they dismissed um, renewable energy in two paragraphs. And their only alternative was a conventional 550-megawatt coal plant. So we commissioned a report that analyzed alternative energy capabilities for the Navajo Nation, and it basically um, leads us to believe that a uh, concentrated solar project here on the eastern side of the Navajo Nation and wind energy on the uh, western side of the Navajo Nation could produce as much power, um, could create um, way more jobs than 200 permanent jobs, um, could be permitted much faster, um, and also could make the Navajo Nation a uh, very... Um, economically prosperous in a time when they're struggling. We firmly believe that our area has some great conditions for exploring um, some of the things that should be considered under a stimulus package. And the last thing we want to see is falling back on um, another coal plant. Eisenfeld feels that the Obama administration is headed in the right direction. It appears that the new administration um, is going to uh, be giving the guidance to regulate greenhouse gas emissions, look at control technologies, the recognition that um, carbon dioxide emissions are a significant problem. And um, we firmly believe that the legal work that's been um, occurring firmly uh, points in that direction. That's Mike Eisenfeld of San Juan Citizens Alliance. For KSFR News, this is Cynthia Cook.